What is up, family? It's your boy D coming right back at you with another one. Right now, we're back in the lab, and a demo is on the menu. All right, so what do we have here? Right now, what you guys are looking at is an SDR subwoofer by Scar Audio. This is a 12-inch variant of that subwoofer. This also is the dual two-ohm version of the subwoofer. To power this subwoofer, we're going to be using the SA-1000 by Dayton Audio. This is wired down or wired up to 4 ohms. Not only does that protect the woofer against what this thing has to offer, but it also protects the amplifier because the amplifier, the SA-1000 by Dayton Audio, is not stable at 2 ohms. It only gives you an 8 and a 4 ohm uh, rating and that's what we're going to be giving this speaker today all right so I had to make um, a, a correction right here in the video which is why I'm doing this slight voiceover uh, the correction that I had to make in the video were the uh, the uh, power rating for the speaker the power rating for this speaker is actually I mean for the amplifier the power rating for the amplifier is actually 1000 watts or roughly 1000 watts at four ohms, which is what we have this subwoofer um, uh, wired in and during during the time of this vi this video, and um, is actually rated at 500 watts or roughly 500 watts at an eight ohm load. This is a dual two ohm subwoofer that we have wired in series up to four ohms, and um, the subwoofer would be seeing approximately 500 watts upon the uh, the demo with me actually having the gain setting at about half uh, half the way so it's, it's seeing roughly 500 watts and as you guys will see I will increase that to about three quarters of the way so it's seeing roughly 750 watts total maybe 800 or around 800 or so max doing certain drops of bass but uh, I just wanted to make that clarification and then skip the incorrect information that I gave you guys during the video. And now I'll just let the video continue. Uh, in case you guys are wondering why it is that I'm demoing this subwoofer right here for all you guys have not who have not had a chance to look at the previous videos. I did have a subwoofer blow on me. Uh, as a matter of fact, the subwoofer that I had blow on me was actually from SCAR. So as a replacement, I actually went back to SCAR because they make some pretty good products, in my opinion. The uh, subwoofer that I had blown on me was the VVX-12, the version 2 of this uh, of that series. Uh, they are now discontinued, of course. And yeah, I think that SCAR makes a pretty decent product these days, and I decided to go back with them. Uh, I'm going to be comparing this against another subwoofer. Uh, another budget subwoofer, which this only this subwoofer at the time of this filming only cost me a hundred dollars, and the competitor to it is the Power Acoustic GW124. That's the Walmart's variant of the Gothic subwoofer that Power Acoustic offers. It's a dual four ohm subwoofer, and I am going to be comparing against this, and it only cost me at the time of the, the filming of this video. 80 bucks so you got a roughly a $20 difference um, but enough of that uh, we're gonna go ahead and get a demo on this if you want to see me um, uh, talk a little bit more about this subwoofer in, in general uh, just go and look at the previous videos I did a comparison of it against um, the VVX 12 that actually blowed so you guys will see exactly exactly my initial thoughts on this subwoofer but um, no further ado, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys get off into it. Right now I have the gain setting at about half the way on the amplifier. We're going to be starting off playing some bass heavy music. And uh, we're going to get the cone moving so you guys can see exactly what you would be getting yourself off into if you was in the market for a subwoofer such as this. Alright, let's get the music going. Okay, my phone is acting weird. Go ahead. And here we go. 
This thing got 13 millimeters of X Max, in case you guys are wondering, and it's actually rated at 600 watts RMS. So this 500 watt low should not hurt it at all. Free air maybe, but I'm not gonna max it out. I'm not gonna hurt the subwoofer. bit more juice and as you guys can see it does have plenty of throw uh, I must say that it's not the most quiet woofer I've ever heard it's kind of noisy to be honest with you um, but overall still looking good sounds that you guys are hearing is not the uh, voice call bottoming out it's not bottoming out at all actually what you're hearing is noise coming through these very thin vents right here uh, in the bottom of the uh, basket again that's about three quarters of the way I will not I will not max it out free air it wouldn't be fair So, as you guys can see, the uh, SDR from Scar Audio does its job, man. It, it has plenty of throw to it. Uh, like I said, it's not the most quietest subwoofer I've had. Uh, as you guys can see, the uh, I think I can zoom. I may be able to zoom in for you guys a little bit there, so you guys can see a little bit of what I'm saying about the venting. Um, the the rear of this thing is it would be pretty much enclosed here if it wasn't for those very thin grills that they have placed periodically within that basket just a few cutouts and you have about uh, four or five of those those little cutouts right there and um, the voice coil itself have plenty of, of ventilation but I think because of the small cutouts right here that's what you're hearing that chuffing it's kind of like having a port that's too small within a ported enclosure. And that's kind of what you got going on. But of course, unless you mount this thing invertedly, you won't hear that in an enclosure. So uh, on an overall, pretty good job, Scar. I'm digging it. Um, so yeah, we're going to, like I said, I'm going to be comparing these two guys. It will be the Scar SDR 12. Uh, this is the dual 2 um, two, two ohm. Uh, two ohm version of this against the power acoustic GW124 so you guys just stay tuned for that you guys will be getting more on these two subwoofers and their performance and what my choice is going to be ultimately um, but until then for all the new guys if this is your first time visiting the channel this is these are the type of things that we do here on the channel I am an audio enthusiast I love subwoofers in general. I love all speakers across the uh, sound spectrum, but the subwoofer is what I'm most fascinated with. So if you wanna see more videos such as this, go ahead and click that notification bell and get notified after you subscribe. And yeah, keep in tune with what I have in plan and what I have in store for this subwoofer or its competitor. And until next time, it's your boy D and I'm out.